Hi guys, welcome to Sessions with Miriam. And Yvette, hello. We decided to put this series together to cheer you up during this difficult time. We hope you find these videos helpful for yourself and for your students. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We are attaching our information to this video. Hey guys, welcome to my living room. The first thing we're going to start off is with uh, with posture because that's that's super important. The goal for today is uh, is to work on your, your right hand technique, which is called their halon hand. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to put this strap over my head and and through my I'm going to put my right arm through through the strap as well. My left hand just hugs the is going to be hugging the neck of the guitarron like this. My right arm my forearm is going to go go on the binding of the guitarron and you notice a little spot that's from my traje <laughs> okay it's going to go to the to the right of the rib the binding that's where your forearm is going to go okay so your your right hand technique you you're going to form an l shape with your right hand just like this and then just relaxed very very relaxed like this you notice that my thumb your your hand is going to go above the sound hole my thumb is pointing to in the direction of the head of the guitarron, and then my fingers are on the right side of the sound hole. I'm gonna utilize my thumb to pull on the fourth string, which is the G, fifth, D, and sixth, A. Okay, this is this is the thumb. I'm gonna use my thumb for those uh, for those three strings. This is my first, my second. These are the only fingers we use to play guitarron, actually. My second finger is going to go on the first string, which is the high A string. See that? I'm going to use my thumb to pull on the low A string. Okay. And this is the actual technique that we're using. Now you will see students try to do this, bring their knuckles in. But that's very unnecessary, especially when once you're playing fast. So just make sure it's relaxed like that. My wrist is also above, my, my arm is not touching the soundboard. See that, notice that? This is the technique right here. This is the beginning level technique that I teach at first. And it's just, I'm just using my arm as a teeter-totter, like that, or seesaw. Okay, this is the beginning technique that I use, just for beginners. I don't, I don't have them bend their wrist. I don't have them use any wrist action at all. So that what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the sixth string with this part of your thumb, you see that, right underneath it, and then the first string, the high A, with my with my uh, second finger. The other fingers are just relaxed, and it's it looks like as though if I'm I'm actually using my other fingers to pull, but I'm not. This is the position that I have for my fingers, and it's not together because if I if I squeeze them together, then it's, they're not relaxed. Here we go. Definitely don't want to do this. Just relax your fingers. And then you make sure you're doing this, uh, this technique right here where you're squeezing your fingers. And notice I'm not bringing my thumb down. The tendency is to do this, but that's incorrect because you can't really grab underneath the strings. Also, make sure you're not doing this okay so your fingers and your thumb never meet they're just relaxed why because you're preparing for the next note your thumb is going to be hitting either the one of these strings at pretty much all the time you know at one point you're always hitting every note that you hit you're always hitting one of these uh lower octave strings so here it is also your forearm never leaves a binding so don't lift I see that a lot. A lot of my students try to do that, you know, try to lift off. Leave your fore forearm on the binding, like so. Later on, more advanced technique, yes, you're going to add more wrist to it. The, the reason why I don't teach the wrist at first, the students have a tendency to do this. start playing uh, El Son de la Negra or any song that you know requires a lot of notes like triads and then it's going to be a little painful to play that. That's the A strings. Okay.
Okay, so now this is the this is how we play the G string or how I teach the, the G note, the G string. Actually, it's an open G string, fourth string. Again, you're still using the same technique, like A, the same positioning, right? Same uh, posture, forearm on the binding. Your thumb is pointing towards the head of the guitarron. Now for, for G, I teach, at first I only teach one octave, but there are two octaves for G. So when I'm teaching just the, the, the lower octave G, which is a G string, fourth oh. string, Okay, I have them position their thumb right here underneath the fourth string, the G string. Your, your other fingers, you're just going to press or push against the A string. See, like this, I'm not actually pulling the A, I'm just pushing up against it, using it like as a leverage. doing the second octave, the higher octave, it's going to be on your the E string, E, F, F sharp, G, I'm using my pinky for it. Teach them how to tune it first, right? So what you're going to do, it's very similar to the A, except for you're using your first finger, your thumb and your first finger. So you grab underneath the string with your thumb and, and your, your first finger, grab underneath, pull away from the strings. Pull away and then squeeze. You don't want to definitely just do this, squeeze, because then you have your other strings, right? You want to pull away from the strings, squeeze together, then release. Make sure the student's not doing this, because this is a big tendency for them to do. They, I don't know why they do this, but uh, try not to allow them to do this. Okay, because then there's going to be problems afterwards, like I said, when, once you're playing fast songs. Just relax. Something that I actually did was that I used my hand to kind of wipe the strings. Yeah, that movement allowed me to relax my wrist. When they start doing this, just have them do the little wipe. So there. this way not to do it, this is the way to do it. So they can see the difference. Okay, so the next note we're going to work on is um, the C, Do. We're going to be playing open C string, third string, and then we're going to be pulling the sixth string. So here you go, A, B flat, B, C. And with our left hand, we're going to be squeezing with our thumb. See that? Now, um, same technique as D, same technique as G. Grab with your thumb, grab underneath the string like that, and with your... First finger, okay, pull away, pull away, squeeze and release. Okay, make sure you don't have your pinky up like that. Just relax it as well. This is the act, this is the movement that the motion that you're doing. Notice my thumb does not meet my my fingers. It doesn't go like that, it's just Squeeze, relax. Well, just remember that for any note that you play, you're going to be using the same technique. Okay, the same exact technique. Because this is super, super important. Okay, remember, grab, pull away from the other strings, and squeeze together, and release. watching and I hope this has been helpful. Remember that this video is specifically for for your right hand uh, technique which is your halon hand. We could definitely do uh, more videos on guitarro. Thank you for watching. Are you wearing any shoes? Uh, sorry. No. <laughs>